financial problems, elder law, criminal law, tax problems, business matters, divorce, personal injury, bankruptcy, your life, your reality. Life is complicated. There is the law and there is reality. Welcome to Law and Reality, sponsored by Thav Gross. Now here's your host, Ken Gross. Welcome to this segment of Law and Reality. Today's topic is my business is in trouble. So I've got my business gurus with me, Brian Small. Good morning, Ken. Pleasure to be here this morning. Jeffrey Linden. Good morning, Ken. Between the three of us, we handle business problems, we handle commercial litigation when businesses get into a fight with the banks, and we handle businesses when they have the situation where they're in financial trouble. And that's what I want to talk about today because we oftentimes we focus on the individual, and Brian always tells us that the solution is individual to the individual. But today we're going to talk about the a business, and in that case, are you going to say that the business is business to the business? I, no, I can't. I can't say that. Yeah. Nope. We'll nope. go with the the solution is unique, unique to the business, because business is about efficiency, and unique is less syllables. There we go. <laughs> All right. So, the current state of affairs right now, we're dealing with very difficult times with COVID. It's putting businesses in a horrifically stressful situation. Take the restaurant industry, okay? Even if you're able to open up, you're restricted on the number of seating people you can seat. You also have a consuming public that a large segment of them are afraid to go and dine out, particularly indoors, as opposed to in an outdoor cafe. So the problems that businesses are facing, and that's just not just restaurants. You've got gyms, you've got salons. I can't imagine a tanning business dealing with the issue of, 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 of the problems they're facing. Um, so I want to lay out the well, there's a whole there's a whole demographic of people, probably age 50 and up, who are not heading back into the market as uh, effectively and as efficiently as those businesses would like by comparison to young people age 18 to 35 who are invincible. Tend, tend to believe, improperly so, but tend to believe that they're invincible. So they are still supporting the market. And I was out recently driving by a restaurant that shall remain nameless, and it was packed inside and outside, as if nothing in the world had happened, violating every right. social distancing requirement that could possibly be required, and yet nobody cared. So that's, that's so where... Big, there's a big spread, in other words, in terms of how people are handling the yes, issue. Yes, and that's why you're seeing uh, restaurants opening, closing, opening, closing, because there's so much risk involved, and other businesses are going to be just as impacted. So I guess if you're a restaurant, you want to be catering to the 18 to the 35 crowd, then you'll have, you'll have patrons. If you're a restaurant that was catering to the 50 and up crowd, you may have a more difficult time. I believe that that's true. Okay. Let's talk about the issues. Just kind of lay some of them out. You have a lease. Oftentimes, you know, businesses typically are leasing space. You can fall behind on payments. And the issue that always comes up that we have to analyze is, is there a personal guarantee supporting that lease? Depending on when you sign the lease and how the negotiations went and how hard you tried to avoid a personal guarantee and what the market conditions were, that dictates uh, guarantees. When the market is soft like right now and you go to lease space, there's no reason to personally guarantee it because you've got tremendous amount of space available that you can lease. So there's where you fight and you don't guarantee it. But when the market was good and the space was scarce, then the landlords are able to demand a guarantee. You need to worry about that guarantee in case the business doesn't make it. Uh, bank loan. You go and borrow money from a bank, normally it's, the bank's going to secure that credit line with all the assets of the business. They're going to ask for the guarantees of the owner. 
and a bank has the ability to shut you down when you don't make your payments because of their secured position. You know, I'll, I'll throw one out there that people don't realize that they've personally guaranteed. They take out a credit card in the name of the business, and they and it's amazing the number of people who say to me, "Well, it's my business credit card." And I'm like, "Okay, but you opened it. You're a small business, and you put your social security number and attaching if you it to read the application." That Six point five. Oh, if six point if you're lucky. You, Four you signed, It says right there that you're personally responsible. For, the person signing the application on behalf of the company agrees that they are personally responsible for the debt. That's what it says. And the funny thing is, is to say, but it can't be, because it doesn't show up on my credit report. And you know what? It doesn't show up on your credit report most often if it's a business credit card. But they be, still sue you. But they will still sue you. Yeah. Good, good point. <laughs> Otherwise, so we got the credit card companies. Vendors. Vendors are usually unsecured. Sometimes they secure themselves with your inventory. You've got to be careful on that or the inventory that they've provided you. And sometimes they demand personal guarantees. Vendors are very clever on their applications too. Their credit apps often have that same four-point font at the bottom where they're tricking you into being personally responsible for the debt. You have to watch that. Well, that's why you got to certainly, when you sign agreements, you should be signing in your capacity as a corporate officer instead of your capacity as an individual. Right, well, let me give you another one that people are not that aware of. And I, it's a category that I call and Jeff calls, we call it the gangster loan. These are new monster loans in business lending. They're the ones that you see advertised on the radio and TV that say, we'll fund your business within 24 hours and you call them up and what they do is they don't give you a loan with an interest rate they say we will buy hundred and fifty thousand dollars of your future receipts and we'll pay you a hundred thousand dollars for that money and then you pay back at twelve thousand five hundred dollars a month to give them hundred and fifty thousand against your hundred thousand dollar loan effectively that's what kind of an interest rate Jeff? It's like 83 percent it's insane. It's actually legal. We've contested it, but there's like out of New York, there's a lot of law saying it's valid. And most of these contracts are written so that New York law or California law applies. Right. Why do people sign up for these loans? It's because they're so easy. You call them up. The guy funds you, says you're, you're approved in 24 hours. You sign everything with DocuSigns and they wire the money to your account. We're going to take a break. We'll come back and we're going to explore remedies in this situation. COVID-19 presents a fight for our personal and business financial survival. You have to make choices. Cash is critical. Do you tap your retirement, home equity line, or run up the credit cards? You need the right plan to avoid being wiped out, and you need it now. You can't rely on the government or banks. Call us. We're the experts in financial crisis. We are here for you and your business in the Great Recession, and we're here for you now. We'll create a plan and get through this together. FavGross will solve your problem. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. FavGross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. You're all set to retire. You have your home paid off, money in the bank, and sound investments. But if you're not careful, all the things that you work so hard for can disappear. At Samasco Financial, we'll help you prevent that. We go beyond ordinary asset management. We'll safeguard everything that you have by creating a plan made specifically for you. How much can you afford to lose? Nothing. Protect the people that you love and the things that you have. Call Samasco Financial today. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. 
There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke, and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. So back to this gangster one. So I said, why is it so easy to do? They make it extremely easy for you to get the loan, which is enticing. But it's not just, you're not just borrowing the money. When you sign all those papers on the DocuSign, they don't even explain it to you. No. But you're giving a security interest to lean on all of the assets of the business. They almost always require husband and wife to guarantee the loan. So you are really tying yourself up. And they take their payments by automatic debit, ACH debits to your bank account. So when you try and, and when you try and stop the ACH debits, then they immediately sue you. And worse than right. that. Well, here's the here's the trap what they do is what people don't realize is they're taking the money directly from the business's bank account daily. And they, they trick you by saying, we're taking a percentage of your yeah. receivables, but they're taking the same amount daily only, no matter how much you're bringing in. And it's only $800 a day. Well, and usually what happens in our experience is that within about a month and a half, the company is starved of cash and can't operate. When the guy takes the loan, he says, things will get better. I need this money. If I don't, I don't need all the money, so I'll use the money to pay back part of the loan. He thinks he's going to be okay. He's all right for the first two weeks. Then all of a sudden he realizes after the automatic debit to the account, there's no money for payroll, there's no money for rent, there's right. no money for electricity, there's no money for vendors. It's, do not take those loans. And, and understand something, they don't advertise on the radio and TV gangster loans. They have all these other nice names that sound like they're going to fund you and they're Good, and, they, and so, they have beautiful songs and very nice looking people uh, advertising the commercials that they're going to help so, you. So people can get a better feel for what this loan is really like. I want to equate it to the consumer taking out a payday loan, a payday advance loan. Yes, yes. which it's a is a good analogy. And, and if, if you're watching and you've taken out a payday advance loan, you know just how hard it is, almost impossible to pay it off. You take out a payday advance loan, then you can't pay it back, so you take out another advance loan to pay back the old loan, and you're stuck, and you're paying 50, 80, 150 percent interest by the time you're done dealing with all of it. They're all scammers. They, they, they are all scammers, and that's what you need to know. Now, let's just shift there. So if you haven't taken one of those loans, don't. don't. Okay. Now, if you have, if you've come into us because you're in trouble and you've already done what most people do, which is grab whatever money they can find before they come to the lawyer to figure out how to solve the problem, we have to deal with it. So how, how do we assess the problem? The first thing that we do when we look at a business that's in trouble is we have to make an assessment. You have to make the assessment. Is the business viable? And that is answer to that question in my mind is if we're able to control the debt or potentially reduce the debt to a level that's attainable is there enough profit in the operation to go forward so that you can pay your bills going forward and earn a living so so let me if give the you the answer to that question is no then we're in a wind down situation because you're never going to make it but so, if it's yes let, let me give you an example of, of sometimes 
things that get done and why personal and business get so mixed up together. You've kind of signed all these personal guarantees. Quite often, what we're going to do, what I do, is I'll assess the individual for a bankruptcy, a Chapter 7 bankruptcy, because they've made every mistake that they possibly could, depleted all of their personal assets, and dumped it into the business. So now, if we can eliminate all their personal obligations, now can we save the business? And can we restructure the business, which I know we're going to talk about later, but it's not just one item. You're not like in a vacuum. We don't just look at the business. We look at the whole picture to make sure that any solution we're going to provide provides a complete relief from the debt. Well, let me, let me kind of expand on that because if we're able to eliminate your personal guarantees, the bank and the creditors usually look when your business falters to say, well, we'll sue you on your guarantee. That's how we're going to recover our money. If you can get rid of the guarantee by a bankruptcy on an individual basis and still maintain the business, then you're leveraged to negotiate to save the business because you go back to the business creditor and you say, you're not going to collect anything. We've already discharged the guarantees. You can't sue the individual uh, behind the owner of the business. And if you liquidate the company, what are you going to get? Liquidating a company usually yields nothing to a creditor. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. So, so that's, 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 that's a good leverage point. So, and, and there's other things that we do. If, if we're going to actually uh, eliminate the business and close it down, the focus is, first of all, can we close the business down and get out from under personal guarantees so we don't have to file a bankruptcy on a personal level? Maybe we have assets that we need to protect. And there we have leverage sometimes where, let's suppose I have a business and I'm going to liquidate it. If I liquidate the business, I can't take, I can't sell off the assets and take that money and just give it to the bank on my guarantee because I have other creditors and right. they're not being handled proportionately. If I do that, it's a risk. If I just take the money and pay it and take it to myself and pay myself back, there's fraudulent transfer issues there. But there are things like I could say I could sell off the assets and in exchange I could give a covenant not to compete for who I sold the assets to, take that money individually, and that's okay, and then I take that money and I go to the creditors that I have the personal guarantees with and I say, listen. I have X amount of money, I will give it to you against the personal guarantee if you release me, and that will work. It's complicated, the process, but there is a methodology to pursue that yields the positive outcome of getting out from the guarantees. Now, you don't want to hear, I got to close the business down and get out from the guarantees, but that's sometimes the best outcome. You know, one thing related to COVID, if you took out a PPP loan and you haven't spent it because at this point because you were going to use it and now you're shutting down your business, you can utilize that money to help negotiate away no your personal, personal guarantee. guarantee. Yeah, there's no personal guarantee on that, but there you can use that money to negotiate your, away your personal guarantees. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, I want to explore with you, Brian, this new subchapter 5 of chapter 11 for businesses. Okay. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. I love you too. Bye-bye. That was Jerry. Emma just said her first word. Oh. Jerry says hello and they'll be over soon. Who's Jerry? Is he a friend of yours? No. This Jerry. Our Jerry. And this is his wife and their little girl.
Time for announcements. I want to remind our viewers to sign up for the monthly contest. Every month we give a $100 Visa gift card, Lawn Reality hat, and a copy of my book, Dump Your Debt. Just go to the website, lawnreality.com, pop your name in to enter and your email address, and you're entered into the contest. We have a webinar coming up Wednesday, July 22nd, 6.30 to 8 o'clock p.m., Debt Relief, Your Path Forward. We're going to go through all the ways that we address resolving debt so that you preserve your future income for you and your family rather than allowing that money to keep paying your creditors. We'll do a segment for the small business facing debt and closure issues. Jeff Linden will do a special segment on tax problems. You want to learn all your available options. That's the key to resolving debt issues. Solutions using bankruptcy, solutions outside of bankruptcy. Attendees get a free copy of my book, Dump Your Debt. Also remember, you can always come into the office for a free consultation. Now with social distancing in place, we have office uh, conferences available, also doing teleconferencing and web conferencing. Whatever is your comfort zone, we're available to do it that way for you. Just call the office at 888-235-HELP or go online and sign up for a free consult. Debt issues, tax issues, estate planning issues, business issues, elder law and financial planning issues with Pat, disability issues with Jeff Kirshner, criminal issues with Scott Weinberg. Take advantage of the free consultation. Sign up at lawnreality.com or call 888-235-HELP. Also, go online and take advantage of the free reports. A brand new report, Resolving Tax Problems, The Real Solutions by myself and Jeff Linden, How to Save Your Home from Foreclosure, Business Formation, Loans and Grants for Small Businesses in Detroit, and the Retiree's Guide for Social Security from Pat Samasco. I want to thank our sponsors, Thav Gross, Samasco Law, Kirshner Law. Now back to the show. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Thav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. COVID-19 presents a fight for our personal and business financial survival. You have to make choices. Cash is critical. Do you tap your retirement, home equity line, or run up the credit cards? You need the right plan to avoid being wiped out. And you need it now. You can't rely on the government or banks. Call us. We're the experts in financial crisis. We are here for you and your business in the Great Recession, and we're here for you now. We'll create a plan and get through this together. Thav Gross will solve your problem. All right, so Brian, there's a new kid in town when it comes to business relief, and it's called Subchapter 5 of Chapter 11, and yep. so what I'm told, explain this to February me. February 19th, 2020, Subchapter 5 of Chapter 11 went into effect. It is business reorganization. However, it is meant to be affordable bankruptcy reorganization for a business. If you look at traditional Chapter 11s, you, like General Motors and Chrysler when they filed. You're talking about millions and millions of dollars in attorney's fees or even a small business that was doing two or three million dollars worth of revenue a year is going to be costing them a couple hundred thousand dollars to a million dollars in attorney's fees to it do was, Chapter 11. We it's, couldn't it do it. couldn't right. be afforded. Now what we've done is we've We've got a new system that basically takes the concept of Chapter 13 reorganization. It says, what's your income? What are your allowable expenses? What's the profit? Okay. If your profit is $3,000 a month and you owe $300,000 or $400,000 worth of debt, we can make it work. And it's affordable because the cost for this new subchapter uh, 5 of Chapter 11 is going to be something that the average small mom-and-pop business can afford. 
versus having to go hire CPAs and come up with a hundred thousand dollar retainer for your, your your attorney. Literally, we're doing them at at a tenth of the price of a regular Chapter Eleven for the size of the even business. less than that, depending yeah. on the eleven. See what 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 is great about this is it's two things. Number one is the system works, and I want to give you like an example. Let's say Faith's Cafe and Bake Shop. Typical mom Tr and pop. Trouble because of COVID. Without debt, if, if if Faith didn't have any debt, she's making in cash flow thirty three hundred dollars a month. You're, you're three thousand dollars. Yeah. So on a th on a three year plan, she could afford to pay back conceptually a hundred and twenty thousand. Right, and but, that's and that's after she takes home her paycheck. Right, after her paycheck. And the beauty of this is when we put Faith into uh, Faith's Bake Shop into the Chapter Eleven, what's going to happen is is unlike the old style Chapter 11, where you have to get creditor approval and it's subject and to all. And you had also a creditors committee and you had all these hearings. You right. had a disaster. It's, we file a plan within 90 days. I don't have to seek the creditor's approval. It's up to the judge. As long as it's a good faith plan, for Faith's Bake Shop, it's kind of cute. Um, as long as it's done in good faith and we're presenting our, our uh, best good. effort, so to speak, it's going to get approved by the court. And the creditors don't have any say so in the matter anymore. It, it look, look at the numbers. All right, let's say Faith's company had one hundred and twenty-five thousand in unsecured debt, bank line of credit two fifty, payroll taxes fifteen thousand, three hundred ninety thousand dollars worth of debt. We could resolve that by paying back only one hundred and twenty. Is that how it works? And no, the funny thing is, is when everybody's looking at the slide, you'll notice that the IRS got paid in full because the IRS always is going to get paid in full when it comes to business taxes. That's the way it's going to work. But that's okay because by paying them in full, they don't go after faith for the taxes. Correct. Right. And at the same time, the unsecured vendors, which were owed $125,000 in your example, only get paid $5,000. The bank line of credit, because it was secured, it's only $100,000. We crammed it down. They owed two fifty. We crammed it down to a hundred, and we only pay back a hundred. And then another thing that Jeff was telling me the other day is the other thing is by knowing you have this remedy of the new chapter, subchapter five of chapter eleven, it's leverage. You can also negotiate with the creditors to say we're going to file that subchapter five unless you make a deal with us. And so sometimes we can now use this to stay out of bankruptcy. Absolutely, right. we have opportunity for small businesses to stay in business and. Those of you that have been affected by this COVID crisis recognize that the dollars are few and far between and you've got to effectively spend them and you've got to recognize that your opportunity to get out of debt is out there. So don't sit on, sit and wait and fold. Give us a call and let's get you in to save that business. Let me throw a, out a couple takeaways. Number one, if you're struggling and you're tempted to take out one of these super good too good to be true loans that we call gangster loans. Don't do it. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Because if it's too good to be true, You're then too it's good too to good true. to be true. And then get in here, let us analyze the situation and help you save your business. Have a great week. We'll be back next week with Law and Reality.